This is Ayla, my beautiful jam tent. She's back with me hiking now in the high country. I had placed Ayla with Lindsay and Rooney is uh, one of the elk hounds that she has. And they had a great time for a while. And then Ayla got homesick for the mountains. Ayla says, I think I should be up in the mountains. And so she went to live in the bush. And uh, <laughs> Lindsay says, well, I don't think she really wants to be living in the city and in the bush. She wants to be just in the bush. So I said, well, that's totally fine. That's the way that goes. So she's back with me now. Ayla is a mentor dog. She's one of the top off-leash hiking dogs of the world for me. I uh, raise both Norwegian and Swedish dogs. But what I'm, my real claim to fame, of course, is I'm a remote terrain dog handler. And so these dogs, they uh, love to work with me up here. These are bred for doing this job right here. Hiking up here in bear country in the spring and looking after the guy hiking. <laughs> and this is the perfect dog. If you get a Swedish elk hound and you work with it and you get it like Ayla, you can hike anywhere you want in the world in the bush and this dog will look after you. It doesn't matter what's going on. These are phenomenal dogs for that. Now, I have a beautiful female down in the yard and I'm training her right now. Her name's Heida and Justice, she'll be a legend. And I also have Vienna I'm working on She'll also be a legend. And then Michael has Arco and Runa and Isla that he's training up at his location. And let me tell you, we got some dogs and I have uh, Luna in the yard as well. And uh, I haven't necessarily started too much work with her yet, but I'll get it done. But. What we hope to accomplish, of course, is to place these great dogs with some really good families and just let them have a great time. Now, Ayla will stay and help me train, so I'm excited about that. Um, I needed her back to, to be a mentor dog, and she's exceptional that way. So. I'll, I'll just use Ayla now as my mentor. I've got Tico there, but he's not quite as good as Ayla. And so Ayla's world-class mentor dog. So I'll use her. The Swedish Alcound is one of the oldest, well, it's the oldest known breed of dog. And it's the oldest known hiking dog, off-leash hiking dog. Now, lots of the breeders in Sweden and Finland, Norway, not so much Norway use this, but Finland and Sweden use this dog a lot. And it's still used as hunting dogs, of course. There's lots of these that uh, we raise that are hunting. But the bulk of the Canadian and North American dogs are used for hiking. And what they're used for is protection dogs against game, wild game. To let you know where the bears are, the big cats are, uh, stuff like that, even wolves. But what they're what they're really skilled at is handling bears. So if you're hiking in bear country, of course they're phenomenal. And Ayla is from the bear lineage. Now Ayla looks exactly like her grandmother Lisa. Her grandmother is a Finnish bear hunting champion in Finland and looks just like, she looked just like this. She's passed on, but um, this is a absolutely beautiful dog and has tons of instincts. Now, you don't need to know a lot to hike with a dog like this in bear country because the dog will. Did you see how skilled this dog is? 
I just touched her twice lightly and just right now. Like this is a phenomenally good dog. The, uh, I should get her to turn around theoretically. Let's uh, let me do that. Okay. Let me turn you around, Taylor. <laughs> How about Hank? Come up here. Come up here. Come here. Come, Come up here. Yeah, that's my girl. Just turn this way. What a show dog. She's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. So yeah, phenomenal dogs to hike with. You don't need to train them how to handle bear. They already know that instinctively. This instinct rich dog. <coughs> She'll tell you where all the game is. We can hike all through here. We're hiking way over there to the water. We live way down in the valley. But uh, we've been having a great day up here. But you can take these dogs and you can hike in virtually any kind of remote terrain and they'll keep an eye on you and they'll watch for you and they'll let you know where game is and they'll tell you what's there. Now you can survive with this dog, you can hunt with this dog, easy. But uh, this dog is really skilled at what I'm doing right today is we're just out stretching our legs and having a great hike. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're just having ourselves a glorious day. We were over at the springs and lots of water all over at springtime. This is about April 20th, 2024. And I uh, raise Elkons at Kamiya Kennels and we have co-breeders, awesome co-breeders and we've got pups on the ground now. So we've got dogs for sale right now. Just very, very close to this size, a couple of them that we've been training and working with, putting them through what's called the Desna training. Those dogs are getting close. I'll be doing videos on them. But I was up here working in the so I thought, well, I'll bring my camera and do a video. And it's just awesome to be back up here with Ayla. She was gone for a while, like, a, I don't know, quite a few months. But she's back now. She's happy to be here. And uh, just phenomenal dog. All right, Ayla, you're having a fun time again back up here in the mountains. She just lives to hike up here. And we live right in the bush, just more or less just like this. So she thinks she's hiking in, in the bush all the time. So it's fantastic. She didn't necessarily like the big city. So Lindsay lived in the big city and then went hiking. I mean, they're hiking all the time. But Ayla finally said, well, you know what, I, I'll just wait here in the bush and you go back to the city and come back. <laughs> uh, that was pretty funny. <laughs> so Lindsay, Lindsay said, well, I think I better switch her out. So now Lindsay has Veda, one of the beautiful young sisters to Hayda. She's a sister to Hayda and Luna. And so... She's just young, so she'll train for that lifestyle, and she's just going to be a phenomenal dog. And her and Rooney are just having a great time. So Lindsay's been a client of ours for, oh, 16 plus years. And uh, she's had three of our, she's had three of our dogs. And Bosco was her first dog, phenomenal fella. And then Rooney, and now she's got Veda. Yeah, she had Ayla too. So yeah, pretty cool. So yeah, we're up here. Now, if you're looking for a really serious, good working elk hound and a Swedish elk hound, Jantund, we have them. And Arco, I'm working with a lady down in Utah, but you can contact me on Arco. I was drinking him for a stud dog, but I think we'll place him and just keep him intact and get him back to breed and send him back out again. So uh, he only needs to come for a hookup and go back home. And so we're probably going to place that rascal because he's such a magnificent dog. And he might as well be looking after somebody in the mountains. And Utah is a perfect place for him. That's a great country for them. <clears throat> I got dogs down in Utah. And really good hiking dogs. 
and so uh, that's a great place. And then we've got uh, Isla. Oh my goodness, that's a beautiful dog. That's uh, Ark's daughter. Ark is the brother to Ayla. And so that's Ark's daughter. you got to see that dog. She's amazing. And so you want a really good hiking dog, get a hold of me on that dog. And that dog's totally trained, skilled, all vaccinations done, everything done. She's ready to go to her home and work, like same day. Just walk out in the bush and go to work. Like, it's phenomenal. Like, that's the beauty. Yeah. So we're one of the few breeders that can do that. And, uh, I mean, we're, we're, we, we have the location. We have the ability. We've got the bloodlines. We've got the genetics. And Michael's, Michael and Sarah are so phenomenal with that. We've got other co-breeders really good at it. And so if you want one of these skilled dogs, we, could, we can make that work. So yeah, so I'm happy to be back on the trail with Ayla. This is just a great day for me. And get up here and burn around and, well, we're just moving along. It's a long climb up, of course, but uh, this is pretty close to 4,800 feet. So we climbed up out of the valley and went to the water. And now we're just, just motoring around here and we'll go down across that way there and head back get a drink and then we'll head her back home we go down through the draws <coughs> we're about three kilometers down not it's all downhill from here ayla good job good girl let me let me call that a video we'll wrap that baby up ayla. we'll just wrap that baby up ayla awesome